What's happening, Lyle community? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you guys are when you're watching this. It's my final day in Charlotte before I head home tomorrow. I uh, used the day to basically do a little bit of last minute window shopping, get as much as I could in with the day that I had. It's a beautiful Monday here. Um, it was in the 60s, it was sunny. Just a beautiful day and a beautiful final, uh, good way to go out. And I've only got two to show you here. Uh, and I'll show show those in a minute, and one of them is an absolute banger, and the other one's not a sleeper either. But I did want to take a second to kind of sum up how my trip really went and everything else. First off, I do want to thank those involved, the generosity you guys shown me as both friends and ambassadors to your area. Really speaks volumes. Um, really enjoyed every place that I went. You know, some places I spent some, you know, brought something home, some I didn't. But every single moment was actually a true memory for me. This is, a, as I said in the last video, this is the first trip I've been able to take since the pandemic started, and this was this was worth the wait. And again, for those that were responsible for you know showing me around, giving me suggestions, and even those that didn't don't watch this video or don't even know this channel exists, if you ever happen to stumble across this, it really means the world to me to for you guys to showcase that southern hospitality that i've heard so much about and it really means a lot to me and uh i'll definitely be back this isn't the last time for sure but uh enough of that uh, sentimental crap um let's get to what we actually you know, most of you are actually going to be here to see so i ended up making one stop more uh, that was at the top of my list before i left um Stopped by Noble Records yesterday to pick up something for a family member. And I, there was a grail on the super holy moly wall that uh, really had been calling my name since Saturday. It had been there for a couple weeks, and I had enough store credit to pick it up. And I just said, you know, it's not costing me anything out of pocket. Why find it? So I ended up doing that. I also ended up picking up one that, while it's not an original, it's going to sound it's going to sound amazing. It's going to be a solid placeholder until I can find an original, and that will happen. But the first one I want to show is um, Blue uh, Blue Note eight four one eight nine. This is Joe Henderson, Inner Urge. It's a brand new. It's an audio file reissue series, a classic vinyl series. It features uh, Joe Henderson on tenor sax. McCoy Tyner on piano, Bob Crenshaw on bass, and Elvin Jones on drums. Joe Henderson's work really needs no introduction. It's absolutely amazing stuff, and his albums are kind of hard to come by, uh, original pressings. Um, and even the early second pressings are really hard to come by, and they're spendy if you find them in good shape. So for me, uh, this one was a solid placeholder, and I know it's going to sound absolutely amazing. Um, Blue Note doesn't half step, and they haven't half stepped with recently with their uh, reissues, so I was really happy to pick this one up. And the final one, a little bit of a backstory before I showcase this. If you follow Dylan at Noble Records, um, he's done a video about it, but um, to do a little backstory on this particular one, uh, a few weeks ago, Dylan had bought a. Uh, Massive jazz collection from a collector here in the area. Beautiful collections. You don't see, um, especially jazz records, uh, this amount, this early, and this kind of condition. And um, most of them went pretty, pretty much immediately. That weekend they were gone, or by the end of the weekend they were gone. But one sort of hung out on the Super Holy Moly wall. And I kept seeing videos from Dylan and Instagram updates, etc. And noticed it was still there. I was just like, what the heck? And after I got eyes on it, I knew I wanted it. And it's not a cheap record by any means, but you never see them like this. This is uh, Riverside 312. Thelonious Monk, Alone in San Francisco. This, is, this was recorded in San Francisco on October 21st and 22nd of 1959. And the crazy thing about this is it's sealed. It's been sealed since the moment it left the factory. Like I said, you never see them like this. You never see them like this. 
it's hard to put into words for the fact that I'm going to be the first person to ever drop a needle on a record this old. And it's, it's going to be a treat, and I'm not going to waste the opportunity for sure. This is going to be a day that I'm going to sit down, maybe perhaps before I go back to work this week, take a little bit of time to unbox this, or unwrap it, not unbox, but just really sit down and enjoy this album. Um, it's meant to be enjoyed. And the fact, like I said, it's a, I'm going to be the first one to drop the needle on this is astounding. And, you know, it's kind of hard to put into words um, seeing something like this that, you know, most most of the time these albums were, you know, taken home and un unboxed or unwrapped and listened to, loved. But this one has stayed in somebody's collection, un, you know, sealed up until a few weeks ago and even now. And it just, it's hard to fathom. It really, really is. Um, I mean, I, I guess that person, you know, it's that person's loss, but, you know, where one person uh, loses an opportunity, another person is able to pick it up. And I guess I'm going to be that person. But this was a hell of a record to come home with, and it's going to be loved and cherished. And Monk is one of those that, you know, when I started out collecting, I didn't have a single release, and this is going to be the third or fourth release of his that I have now. And probably the cleanest. It's going to be one of the cleanest Monks, and it's going to be one of the cleanest uh, releases or albums in my collection. And like I said, it's a great send-off, and... Uh, Really, he needs no thanks, but uh, Dylan, if you watch this video, thank you for making these kind of things available to to us. Um, otherwise, we would never get them. So, you know, thank you for that. And uh, it's going to be enjoyed. It's going to be enjoyed. But, again, uh, this has been a great vacation. It's been a great trip. This is not going to be the last, as I said. I will be back. And there'll be great, there'll be great memories to come. And uh, special thanks, especially at the end of this, to Chris at Tunes from the Man Cave, Josh at uh, Taming the Birch, and uh, Dylan at Noble Records. Thank you for making a Texas transplant to Colorado feel welcome. Uh, it really means the world to me. So, not trying to gush up on you guys, but again, thank you. It really means a lot to me. So, with that note, we're going to close out because I got I to gotta eat and get my butt to bed because I got a nice early flight tomorrow. But I uh, hope you guys like what you saw here. If you do, please click like and subscribe. And uh, thank you for traveling along with me on this one. And uh, we'll talk again soon. You guys have a good one.